Here are six tips and tricks I use when I do resin printing that I have picked up along the way. Hey guys, we try to do weekly tips, tutorials or reviews on this channel. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and click that notification icon to get the latest video and it's free. Okay guys, so today what I'm going to talk about is some tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way with regard to resin printing. Uh, resin printing is such a great future, there's such a great future with it and uh, I really enjoy doing resin printing. but. I mostly use resin printing for figurines because you get unbelievable detail out of your little figurines. First of all, I'm just going to use gloves throughout this whole thing. This is not a tip. This is just what a requirement of resin printing is. Make sure you have gloves on and that you are protected properly. should wear a mask as well, but for now, just for this video, I'm not going to put a mask on. But um, guys, so the, the first tip that I've got for you is remixing of your resin before printing. If your printer stands for a while where you haven't been printing for a few days and you need to then want to start printing something, my suggestion is, right, let's take that off. If you take your plastic spatula and you give your resin a good stir, so just move it backwards and forwards, okay, and give it a good stir. Also, what this does as well is make sure that you don't have any little bits stuck to the bottom because you'll immediately feel those little bits that are stuck to the bottom. I don't take my resin out every single time I use the, uh, you know, finish using the printer. I then just leave the resin in and I'll put some covers onto the, onto the uh, resin vat and that's it. So, you know, before I do a print and I haven't been printing for a few days, I just give it a good mix for a few minutes, just stirring it up and making sure that it looks like it's nicely mixed. Uh, with some colors, it's easier, like the green that I had from the Creality Green that you could see when there was a film on and you could see how it was not quite, it was a little bit darker. So I just mix that in. And um, yeah, that, that will make your prints better and just make sure that your resin is nicely stirred and shaken. And commas. So guys, these tips and tricks that I'm giving you here, if you don't want to follow them, don't. These are my ideas and what I do and hopefully this can help you on your, on your journey. Now, another one that I found recently, uh, you know, one of the biggest problems that I've had with the, the, the resin vat over here is when you try to do a print, you can't see what your progress is. You can't see if you've got a failure, okay, because the resin vat is in the way. I found a trick the other day. I saw the pause button on the, on the, uh, the printer here, and I didn't know what that actually did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly start a print. And then with that print, I will pause it and show you how the plate lifts up and you can actually see the first part of the layer there. Now I've got a companion keycap. Let's print that. So, right, when you hit the pause button, you'll see that the head will lift up like this. Okay. And this gives you an opportunity to be able to look under and make sure that your layers have stuck. Uh, you can't really see it here at the moment get that to you because we haven't done enough layers but you will see that your layers have stuck and that you are now properly printing so that is my tip number two and it does work extremely well I'm just going to cancel this print tip number three fill the bulb plate you know one of the things about if you look at an FDM printer it prints each layer at a time okay and these layers will print one layer at a time and uh, you have to print every part X, Y, and your Z. So as you're printing your X, it will move up and it will print some more, move up and print some more. With the, the resin printer, it flashes the whole layer at one time. So if you have one small item in the middle, okay, you will find that uh, it will take the exact same amount of time to print if the build plate is full. So if you've got little figurines that you're printing and you want to print six of them, print them all six at the same time. It'll take literally the same amount of time as it takes to print one. So get that build plate full as you fill as you can. Also, try not print too vertical. Print more horizontal. The more horizontal you go, the quicker your prints will go. So again, important to fill the build plate as much possible in your horizontal plane and you will, you will do your prints much quicker. So that's my tip number three. 
Tip number four. Now, if you look at my previous video, you'll see that I demonstrated the Wham Bam flexible build plane system, this one here. And this, guys, has changed the way my prints come out. This is so much nicer, so much easier to remove a print. It is so hard to remove a print from the, this build plate without the Wham Bam system. With the Wham Bam system, all you do is you flex the plate. Now, I'm gonna show you from my previous video, I'll show you that little clip of me removing a print that previously broke, like this one here, this actually broke off because it was stuck too firmly to the plate. So I put the wham bam system on and let's watch that. Okay, there we have it. The print is off and it's done, it's finished. Now comes the big thing of removing it from the build plate. So firstly, let's just try to get the, the mag plate off and nicely. There we go. Okay, so there it is. There's our print. So let's see what this does and let's see how well this wham bam uh, sheep works. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this again? Okay? Let's check this out. Oh, 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 that's beautiful. That is absolutely what. Oh my goodness, that's actually easier than I thought. A slight flex, flex and it just pops off. Right, the next tip, tip number five. We're nearly there. Okay, the next tip is alternatives to isopropyl alcohol. Guys, we are struggling due to the pandemic at the moment to get isopropyl alcohol and it is becoming more expensive. As with these gloves, have you noticed how expensive these gloves have come? Sorry, a little tangent here. These have tripled in price to get new gloves. So I'm really, I'm actually shocked that the companies would do that to just capitalize on this, on this pandemic. But anyway, so I don't use isopropyl alcohol anymore because firstly, it's very, very expensive. Secondly, it's very difficult to get hold of. And thirdly, it smells bad, okay? So I've been using this Herschel cleanup. Uh, there's clean green or green clean or something like that uh, that you can also get. Uh, I'm looking, you know, these, these here are degreasers. They remove grease and oil stains from floors and from pots. And it works exceptionally well with my prints. When I do a print, I then take it and I clean it in that, uh, that cleanup, okay, that Herschel cleanup, and I get a clean print out once I've cleaned all of, the, all of the, the slipperiness off. It's actually quite incredible. What you do is you feel it with your finger and you'll feel that it becomes less and less slippery. As it becomes less and less slippery, you're wiping off all that excess resin because that is really important to get a good part is to wipe off all that excess resin. And uh, you get in every little nick and cranny and you get a little paintbrush and you get in there and you get all of your, your resin off. Then I rinse it in water. I put it into another bowl, I rinse it off. I sometimes take it under a tap just to flush out with a little bit of pressure and I rinse it off with water and then it's ready for, for curing. Okay, now my final tip. I got this tip from Alex Dubois. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, in one of my comment sections on one of my previous videos about curing in water. It does seem to work. So apparently oxygen limits curing. Okay, it seems to work for me. It works quite well for me. So with, with oxygen getting on here while you're trying to cure it in your resin, I mean in your curing station, it does prevent it uh, from curing a little bit and it takes a little bit, um, it not prevents, it limits curing. Okay, so it's not quite prevents curing, but it limits curing. I find that putting it in hot water, well, warm water, quite, quite warm, um, I put it into a warm water, I put it into my, uh, my curing station, which you can see how I made over here. And uh, that seems to work really nicely. I then turn it over inside the station a little while later. I leave it in there for about uh, 15, 20 minutes in the water and the water really helps it to cure really, really well. And yep, that's it for my tips for now, for now six tips for resin uh, printing. Guys, these tips are my, my tips. These are what I use when I do resin printing. Use it, don't use it. Throw some comments down in the comment below. Give us a like if you like the video. But these tips work for me. And they might not, they might, you might not agree with them, which is fine. Then you use what is good for you. But these tips work for me. Okay. So now um, that's it for this video. These videos on the screen now contain more information on this printer and on resin printing. Click and watch that video now and I'll see you there. Thank you. God bless. Cheers. Take care.